Hey, what's up? It's Mr. Bill here, and today I'm going to do a tutorial on the Live 8 versus the Live 9 compressor. So, a lot of people in my stream and a lot of people who download my project files, they ask me, um, why, why don't I use the Live 9 compressor? And I do, I use it sometimes. I sometimes use the glue compressor and I sometimes use the just the regular compressor, but the reason I'll use them is different for the reason that I use the Live 8 compressor. So I think the glue compressor and the Live 9 compressor, they have like a certain character to them and they're good at like compressing things. But when it comes to side chaining, um, the Live 9 compressor or the glue compressor, just they don't, they're not even close to the Live 8 compressor. So <clears throat> um, what I've done is I've gone to a Live 8 project file. So a project file that I wrote when I was using Live 8 and, um, and I just found a compressor and then saved it into a rack. So now when I pull this rack in called Old Compressor, which is in my audio effect racks um, subfolder, whatever you want to call that. <coughs> what is that called? It's called a browser content pane. Or I don't know what it's called. Anyway, um, yeah, so I dragged the old compressor in, and you can see it's got compressor in here. Um, it's got all similar shit to the Live 9 compressor, except here it has this upgrade button. If you hit upgrade, now it's the Live 9 compressor. You can undo it as well. So see, with the Live 8 compressor, we had the FF1, the FF2, and the FB models, whereas if we upgrade it, we have peak RMS and expand, and also um, in the Live 8 compressor. In the envelope, it looks like you have peak RMS and opto, and here you just have linear or logarithmic for the envelope. So they're completely, I think they're using completely different algorithms and stuff like that. Uh, so let's do a comparison um, when it comes to side chaining. Like, when, let's not even think about actually like how how the compressor sounds like as a compressor. Um, we're only thinking about this as a side chain compressor, um, and that's the only reason I use the Live Eight one versus the Live Nine one. So I've just set up a key command here. Just um, hit A, and that'll switch between Live Nine and Live Eight. So here, what I'm going to do first, I'm just going to listen to this, and I'm just going to tune it by ear or whatever just to how I think it should sound. And then I'm gonna to go to the Live 9 compressor and I'm going to, uh, <clears throat> and I'm gonna just copy the, the settings that I've got on the Live 8 one. We'll hear the difference. So I'm trying to sidechain this here. This is like a kind of a sub and uh, some chords. And it goes over the top of some drums. But you can hear that it's like kind of getting in the way of the kicks and stuff. So. So uh, I've got like a separate chain channel here like I showed in my layering tutorial how I just have like a tiny little click um, and that's what I'm using and the click kind of, if you look at the kicks and the snares, the click just sits on this little click sample that I've made. I've just pasted it every time a kick and a snare happens just so the compressor is a, a little more reactive. <clears throat> All right, so let's just, uh, well, first we'll just send both of these compressors to the chain. Uh, so usually I just bring the threshold down a bit and then mess with the release and the ratio. I like to turn my look ahead to 10 milliseconds too. Alright, so this is what we got. It's, it's definitely side chaining it nicely. Uh, so let's try and replicate it. So we want the ratio to be 6.74 to 1. We want the attack to be 0 0.01, the release to be 41.1, <clears throat> the threshold to be negative 38. What else is there? We need this. Um, knee should be 0, look ahead should be 10. So the envelope says peak. I don't know what to do about that. Like we can make it either linear or logarithmic. I don't think it, I'm not really sure which one is closest to peak. And then the model as well, the FF1, FF, uh, FF2 and FB, we can't really replicate that at all. Um, so that should be that should be it. So let's listen to the difference. So that's the live A one. So you can hear all those clicks, like every time it goes down. So what actually, what happens if we upgrade this? What will, what will it do to the envelope and the model? 
it, it just leaves it as log and peak, okay? So if we go to this one, we leave this on log. You can hear every time it, it hits, like there's some serious clicks. And this is why I use the Live 8 compressor because it just doesn't have that problem. Um, it has that problem if you use, I think, FB. Oh, actually, that didn't, wait, what? What is going on? Or FF2 maybe. Yeah, you can hear FF2 has that problem. FF1's good. It doesn't have that problem. It sounds smooth. So it, it just seems like they've taken out the FF1 model. I'm not exactly sure like what, what they've done. But <clears throat> anyway, that is why I use the Live 8 versus the Live 9 compressor. As an actual compressor, I mean, either or is fine. I use Glue. I use Live 9's compressor. I, use Live, I don't really use Live 8's compressor as a compressor. Um, yeah, either either or, I think, are both fine. But for side chaining, I definitely recommend using the Live 8 compressor. Um, if you don't have an old project that you've started in Live 8, because maybe you just started Ableton from Live 9, or maybe you've upgraded all your project files, or I don't know, um, I'll upload this to like Mediafire or something or some shit, and um, <clears throat> and you can go and just download this rack. Um, I'll put a link in the description. But yeah, I mean, the difference is crazy. Like, listen to the Live 9 one. Like, like you can hear all those clicks and pops. Man. It's not good. Versus this one. It just sounds so much nicer. Um, oh, and yeah, this is a collab that I'm doing with Tech Vision. If you haven't heard Tech Vision, you should check him out. Um, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial and got something out of it. Uh, I will put this rack in a media file link. I won't forget to do it, um, hopefully. And yeah, have a good day. Cheers.